Martin Lawrence Bond, and I'm here in Washington to promote um, my Schumacher line and kind of meet and greet everybody here, which is going to be wonderful because it's a whole design community that I very much admire and don't really know. So through the great um, experience I've had with Schumacher and my line with them, it's been so fun because we've been touring lots of cities in America that I haven't actually been to before, like Washington. You've never been to Washington? This is your first time? No, I'm a Washington virgin. Fascinating. Yes. Fascinating. So you have a, you're also going to be signing a book. I am, yes. Yeah, my new book, Live, Love and Decorate. And you're on a show that everyone should know about called... Oh, Million Dollar Decorators on Bravo, yes. <laughs> so when was, when was the turning point? I mean, there's a, a ton of designers, but when was your turning point where people said, he's a genius, we have to listen to him? What did you do? Do you remember? Well, I'm not quite sure what I do. What happened? Uh, you know, I've been very, very lucky. I've had, an, I've had a very interesting full career where I've designed a lot of homes for a very amazing creative people. Um, Sir Elton John, Cher, Christina Aguilera, uh, Ava Mendes, and Pompeo, Kid Rock. So I've had a lot of big star clients, and I think that obviously when the spotlight is on the celebrities and you decorate for them, the spotlight shines slightly on you too. And so that's definitely helped the awareness of my career. And um, I've also had extraordinary, extraordinary coverage from some of my great friends. Margaret Russell, the editor of Architectural Digest, and Michael Boudreau of El Decor, and Neil Turner from House Beautiful. All these wonderful magazine editors have really supported my career. And sort of through all of those publications, it's definitely opened me up to the public. <laughs> well, we kind of also talked about this earlier, but uh, one reason I guess that so many celebrities would want you to do their design is because they love your style. So what is your style? How would you describe it? My style is very eclectic. I don't decorate for me, I decorate for you. That means that my homes are not easily recognizable as something that's my own stamp. I want your friends to walk into your house and go, my God, I love your house, it's so you. I don't want them to walk in and go, it's oh, a Martin Lawrence Ballard house. So for me, it's all about that challenge of understanding you, learning about you, finding <laughs> out what makes you tick, what you love, what you don't love. How do we create your dream? That's what my decorating is about. I'm a, a dream giver, hopefully. A decorative dream giver. <laughs> and you're a very well-traveled one at that. I have one last question, which I know you're going to find impossible to answer, but maybe not. Do you have a favorite fabric? Wow, that is hard. From my Schumacher line, I have to say, oh, so much. I, I actually love all of them. I feel like I gave birth to them all, so they're like all my children. But if I had to pick a favorite, there's, a, there's an ECAT called Daria ECAT, which is sort of a wonderful ECAT because it's not... The traditional thing you see, it feels a little bit more modern. It's a little bit more biomorphic in its shapes. And it's a fabric that you could use in a very modern interior, or you could use it in a very traditional interior. In fact, currently in my own house, I've just completely upholstered the walls of my dressing room. And it is purely delicious. So I would say that at the moment, that's my current favorite.